I have some tips for you today for extreme self-care. Hi, my name's Christine O'Connor. Welcome to Happy Stuff and Fluff, a channel for women over 50 who are getting happy and growing younger. And we're not letting this thing stop us. So today I have some tips for you on self-care. Now these are things that I'm doing. I'm not a doctor as you know, neither do I know any more about this virus than you do, but uh, I am doing some things that I think might help. And may I ask, if, um, if you're doing something over and above the things I talk about today, will you please leave them in the comments box below so that we can spread the word and um, we can help everyone then you know you may do something that we've never thought of and that would be great if we could do that so that would be good okay the other thing I wanted to say is in my last video I talked about the fact that the National Trust properties in the United Kingdom were opening their grounds free of charge that's no longer true um, and so what I would say to you if you were thinking of trying to head out to an open space at a National Trust property, just give that property a ring first to see what their policies are and what they're doing. Uh, before I talk about the self-care tips, the other thing is it was Mother's Day in the United Kingdom yesterday. Happy Mother's Day to uh, all of you. And I hope you managed to find some pleasure with your children yesterday. I know our government actually said the nicest thing you can do for your mother this Mother's Day is to stay away from her. <laughs> and so, um, you know, that's what everybody tried to do. Also, you guys are amazing and I have to thank you for the best wishes you sent to me. Uh, knowing that yesterday was the first Mother's Day without my daughter Charlotte. Um, and of course that made it made it more difficult except I have to say I am so grateful that this virus was not around when we were caring for Charlotte here at home imagine how much more difficult that would have been and for those of you because I know there are some of you out there who are caring for someone with cancer and if they are having treatment then that suppresses their immune system I am sending you as if best wishes and good vibes could help you, then you would be helped, I promise you. Um, remember to take care of yourself, and if I can do anything for you at all, please just email me, and if I can do it, I'll be there like a shot. Okay, so let me tell you what we're doing here to try to stay healthy, and hopefully you'll pick something that you may not have thought of. Now, the washing of the hands thing, we've all got into the habit of doing it, haven't we? And I'm going to talk about habits down the line. And I'm going to bring this up to remind you that although it was difficult at first, wasn't it, to remember every time, every kind of 10 minutes, every time you touch your face to wash your hands, we're all doing it now. It's becoming second nature to us to do that. Because of that, your hands are going to get very dry. So I'm, uh, I've got some um, hand lotion, which I'm using more of. In fact, every time I wash my hands, I'm using a little bit of hand lotion. Now, I'm also using a spray bottle of bleach and water. I think it's 10 parts water to one part bleach, which I'm using to spray surfaces, surfaces such as taps and um, work surfaces and so on as well but door handles and all of those things I'm using this um, spray bottle now I would also say if you're doing that remember your computer keyboards especially if you share your computer with someone else so it's worthwhile remembering that now I heard that this thing carries on fabric or it carries on clothes now where I'm not 100% about that so obviously do your own research on it but because I heard that and thought it was a possibility then I'm ramping up doing the laundry gosh um, I don't like doing laundry um, I may have said that before anyway um, washing the bedding more often washing clothes more often and ironing and so on because heat obviously kills these things this uh, we're being told heat kills these spores this virus does not like heat um, and so I'm doing all of those things now with that in mind I start my day and this is again this habit um, 
with hot water and lemon on and off sporadically sometimes I remember sometimes I don't well last week I had a sore throat I know I never get sore throats and so that concerned me a little bit so I was on it on it hot water and lemon every day without fail I start with that gargling with manuka honey and hot water every time I remember. Now Manuka honey is amazing for this. I've talked about the benefits of Manuka honey for your hair. It's worth having in the house. Gargling with it. It's an antiseptic and it works. Going back to Charlotte when she was on treatment, anyone on having cancer treatment gets a very dry sore throat and Manuka honey helped with her and it was approved by the hospital when I checked it with them. So if you can get Manuka honey and do that, do it. If you can't get Manuka honey, just use any kind of antiseptic, whether you have a sore throat or not, I would say, because this thing starts in the throat, we have to stop it from going from there to the lungs and send it down to the tummy where drinking hot drinks is going to help to do that. Um, hot drinks, me, every half hour on the half hour, finally, I'm giving approval to drink lots of coffee. <laughs> um, which is what I'm doing. However, of course, you don't have to drink coffee. You can drink tea, herbal teas. I have never found a herbal tea I like. If you have a recommendation for one that I might like, please leave it in the comments box below. Now, if I'm, because obviously too much coffee, uh, I know, I know. So, um, what I'm doing at the moment is I'll just drink the hot water and lemon again later on in the day when I want to stop drinking coffee. But hot drinks are important. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so, so it's about getting the getting this these spores down into your stomach so the bacteria in your stomach can bash it and get rid of it. Now, in order to do that, you have to do that, you have to have a healthy stomach. Gut health is incredibly important. So I'm taking a probiotic once a day. Um, and eating more vegetables. I'm going to leave a link down below to um, a series of cooking videos that my friend did. Um, I'm going to leave a link to her videos down below so that you can have a look at uh, some of her suggestions. But uh, gen in general, I'm taking this probiotic for gut health um, and eating more vegetables. To, and obviously we need to boost our immune system I will leave a link to my super breakfast here, which will do that. I am uh, I'm back to eating that every day. And I'm also, in addition to the supplements I take, I've told you about these before, the resveratrol, uh, the vitamin D in the fish oil. Um, I'm now taking vitamin C and a zinc supplement in order to boost the immune system. Also, go out for walks. You need exercise and you need fresh air. Be very careful about how you do it. In the United Kingdom, we are still allowed to do that. You can go out in twos, but you must stay <laughs> two metres apart. Not easy to do. Nevertheless, this is what we've been asked to do. And speaking about that, the UK government, I think, has been very polite in terms of asking us to stay home stay home as much as possible but you do still need to go out and walk this staying home thing people are not staying home it's not our experience up here i don't think in the north but certainly i've seen uh, images where young people especially are gathering and as i say the government has been polite in asking people to stay home and this reminds me of my mother who used to say and she used to say it like this I won't ask again, or I'm not going to ask you a second time. <laughs> so you knew if she had to ask you a second time, trouble was a coming. And that's what's going to happen here. That's what's going to happen here. They've asked you, you know, I'd be saying we've asked you politely, now we're bringing in the big guns. That's what they're going to do, have to do. Please stay home as often as possible. And when you do go out for a walk, either go alone with your dog in an open space or with someone, but stay two metres away from them. Um, and let's hope that if everybody does that, we won't get to a situation where we have to be police controlled or army controlled or have to stay indoors all the time. 
uh, let's hope it doesn't get to that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say in terms of exercise was do uh, take up yoga. There's loads and loads of yoga um, online, yoga 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because yoga builds up heat in the body and going back to the virus, it doesn't like heat. So yoga is going to help you with that. Okay. Uh, next time, I'm going to talk about how I'm staying sane in terms of social distancing. After that, I'm probably not going to talk any more about the coronavirus unless there's something specific you want me to cover. Um, but I do think, given the current situation where we are, doing all of these things that, I've, that I'm doing for myself, if you think of anything in there, hear anything in there that you think you could do that might help you too, then my job is done. Um, and in terms of helping you from a mental point, mental health point of view, about staying home all the time, that's coming in the next video. And then um, I don't have plans to do any more on it unless something comes from these two videos from you that makes me feel another video would help you. Okay, um, I'm going to leave that till, uh, uh, leave it there. And yeah, please tell us in the comments box below uh, what you're doing to stay healthy and I'll see you next time and it might be before next week I might I might um, talk to you a bit more if you would like me to do that and uh, but, but if I don't if you don't hear me during the week you'll hear from me next week and until then remember that on the happy stuff and fluff we are getting happy and growing younger stay safe and healthy